estate agent with Remax Equity Group Realtors. I got into real estate right out of college. Um, I've been with the firm for 20 years. Uh, but I think it's important for people to know that um, um, my job is about providing leadership and direction. So I have the pedigree of what people are looking for um, in terms of a real estate agent. But I think ultimately people want to know what's in it for them. And so from my perspective, um, I have a very relational, really customized approach in terms of representing my clients. Um, but I also provide a really cutting edge um, marketing program that's really unique uh, in terms of what the, the market has. Um, I've had a lot of people that really invested in my life from a very young age and uh, I still have a file folder at home in my um, cabinet that basically has all the handwritten personal notes from when I was a high school. And so from time to time I pull that up and I look at it and it reminds me of what other people did for me and invested in my life. And so that gives me the ability to turn around and say, no, it's time for me to invest and pour back into other people's hearts to help them, you know, um, maximize what they want out of their life. Um, I like a modern day Iron Man. I mean, he's got a cool brand. Um, I like the technology side of stuff. Um, so yeah, sign me up for that. <laughs> ah. What motivates me outside of work? Um, you know, I have a really loving wife and she allows me to dream big, you know? And so my DNA is to, is to be really creative. And so when you've got somebody at home that really supports you, um, it allows me that kind of freedom. My gerbils are constantly, <laughs> seriously, um, my gerbils are constantly turning and so um, I don't like anything that is mediocrity. So you didn't mean actual gerbils? No, I don't have actual. <laughs> they're not actual gerbils, I just... Um, well, you have a four-year-old. <laughs> in the real estate industry, it's not about me, it's how I serve them. And so from that perspective, um, in five years, I see a larger platform to serve more people. Um, so I'm born and raised in Tualatin, and so I have seen all the growth and all the development and all the movement of the city uh, for my entire life. And so in that, in terms of joining the Tualatin Chamber, it's part of my DNA is to, uh, to love on people and serve them. Uh, this is a great opportunity and a great platform for me to invest in other people's lives, their businesses, in the least common denominator of everything. Um, Clyde and Linda, in terms of their involvement, um, they make everything happen. And they are timeless in terms of the amount of energy and resources and that they put into our lives and our hearts and our businesses. And uh, kudos for them. Good Lord, <laughs> you're asking that one. <laughs> oh, good. Okay, ask that one again, please. <laughs> Pretty authentic um, with my friends um, in high school. They knew who I am, what I'm about. I have not changed one iota. Um, I was pretty focused, pretty driven, um, and I, I wasn't going to settle for not accomplishing that. Yeah, I'm still right on track with what I wanted. Big old refrigerator. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I was a kitchen appliance. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't ever spend time in the kitchen. <laughs> okay, that's all right. That was it. Awesome. You're awesome, man. Can I see you?